In 2001, some researchers discovered that uh, the effective ingredient in catnip, nepetalactone, worked very well to repel mosquitoes and numerous articles and studies were published on it, here being one example. Don't worry about copying, the links will be down below if you want to pursue this one. So we were already in the business of selling a non-DEET repellent in Canada called Bite Blocker and it was based on geranium. By about 2005 we had come up with our own formulation that also included catnip and we were selling that unfortunately at the time in Canada catnip was not recognized by the Pest Management Regulatory Authority which is the Canadian equivalent of the US Regulatory Authority such as the EPA and we were not allowed to sell this item as a repellent in Canada however it was approved in the USA so we had to call it an outdoor spray eventually that was not allowed by the Canadian government either and we ended up not offering this in Canada and it was sold and continues to be sold to this day in the USA as summer survivor now back on to this catnip story from 20 years ago and since then there's always been ongoing search one of the problems with that we found with this nepetalactone catnip being an ideal essential oil to use for it because uh, Canadian grow on catnip one variety from Alberta was found to contain 90 percent nepetalactone so it was a great way in order to get high nepetalactone content without having to synthesize it from the essential oil or distill it. The problem though is twofold with using the nepetalactone. Uh, one is even 20 years ago it was about a hundred and fifty dollars a pound and even though it's essential oil those are sold by the pound because the specific gravity of catnip essential oil is more than one therefore they base it upon the weight and not upon the quantity the second problem with nepetalactone although it does indeed work well for repelling mosquitoes it does not work well for that purpose when you put it on a porous surface such as human skin and that's where the art of emulsifying that ingredient into a carrier oil so that it will release more slowly really uh, becomes problematic and you can see in some of our original formulas we had used soybean oil, uh, coconut caster, and a, a variety of carrier oils. And those are not to be confused with essential oils, which often worked as active ingredients to repel insects. And some of those might be mint oils, um, also basil, and uh, so on. Now, we are starting to find that during the middle of the pandemic articles came out talking about nootcatone and how it is a very effective ingredient and easy to source for repelling mosquitoes. Now the trouble with newt, sorry, excuse my pronunciation, newt catone, 
is similar in many ways to what you might find for catnip which is that it is very expensive and the other consideration so for example um, right now if you were to go off and search out one liter of newt catone and bought it wholesale it's about four thousand US dollars for a liter of it and that would be the one that has about I think 95 percent concentration and I think a liter of about 65 percent is around uh, 2500 US I think is what I was quoted last so you reach this problem as well now as you'll see from some of these articles as you start to go through them and you'll see here the CDC has approved this as a repellent ingredient and when you research it you'll see that they have given the patents uh, that they hold on it to two different companies one with respect to uh, um, producing the nude catone for purposes of uh, human repellent lotions and the other one is I believe an insecticide so where do you find newt catone uh, here you'll see look at this New York Times article and they will mention that um, it is from a citrus oil and here you see the secret behind this repellent potent punch is found in grapefruit now the problem with using uh, something like grapefruit oil that smells really nice and contains nucatone instead of having to buy nucatone for 4,000 liter if you wanted to make your own repellent from it is as many of you know grapefruit oil is highly phototoxic which means that if you have something such as a lotion with it in your um, the grapefruit is an ingredient in your lotion it will when you go into the sun f form toxic chemicals on your skin and you'll get a sunburn real easy and it's not very good for your skin so you can't just go and stick grapefruit oil in to a lotion that you will be using to repel mosquitoes and then go out in the sun which becomes problematic and this is um, a common problem for a lot of essential oils such as grapefruit and bergamot and cedar and so on so you'll see here from cedar trees and grapefruit rinds comes a new bug repellent well again sure the active ingredient the nepetal uh, sorry the uh, keat N N sorry newt catone I'll get this uh, sooner or later here as we go on um, is too expensive cedar trees and grapefruit essential oil are gonna be phototoxic and so where does that leave us well it does turn out that you can find another essential oil uh, and it can contain up to 10 percent newt catone and that's what we're going to look at now